How's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. While the rest of the tech community is focused on 4K panels and ultra wide displays, I sit here and admire my 42 inch Hisense TV. Not because of its crazy high resolution or ultra wide design, but because of its sheer size alone on my desk. Having a giant panel yields a lot of benefits that a lot of people don't know about. And in this video, I'm going to go through why using a TV is a legitimate way to go for your computer to monitor. Roll the intro. This is my display, a Hisense 1080p 42 inch LED TV. I picked this guy up on Black Friday a few years ago back for a steal at only $100. My setup is constantly changing, with displays moving around to find the best fit. However, regardless of the numerous times I have attempted to switch to my 21-inch AOC monitor as a primary, I keep coming back to this TV. The pixel density is far from being super appealing. With visually unappealing pixels around the icons in comparison to my AOC panel, however, it doesn't affect me as much as I thought it would. The 42 inch screen gives me a bigger picture that really makes a difference. At its size, it's not too overwhelming or too small to appreciate. I believe the main reason I enjoy this panel so much is just the fact that it stands out. This display is a centerpiece of my 3 monitor setup and adds some much needed character. As for actual performance of this display, I don't possess any high tech readers for response time and color accuracy, but I can most certainly bet that this display has a very high response time. That is no issue when it comes to playing single player story type games, the type of games where I feel like this type of screen shines. However, when playing Counter Strike Global Offensive, I do feel a disadvantage in a competitive lobby. If you play a lot of competitive type games, you already know playing on a TV is not on your top list of choices. The response time will get you dome pieced without even getting a chance to respond, leaving you dead and unhappy with your choice of panel. To combat this issue, I do have another monitor, the AOC display, and while it's not the most elegant solution, I switch to that display to be my primary before I play a game like CSGO and play it at an angle, which I find surprisingly more comfortable than I thought I would. Another area where I love this display is editing. I edit all my videos using Sony Vegas Pro 13. It's been my go-to editing software for years. Having a big screen to take in and manage my workflow has a ton of benefits. Yes, an ultra wide monitor would help me more with actual screen real estate, but when it comes back to the price here, a very nice ultra wide like the LG 34UM95 runs at a price tag of $800. So you are getting a lot of display for the price, but why bother if you don't need all of that? I get a clear view on my editing timeline, great side video playback, and the ability to crop, cut, and scale my video with ease. It does also help that I have two more monitors to help with my workflow, however I will save that for another video. In conclusion, do I recommend that you go out to your local tech shop and pick up a TV and use it as your monitor? No, but do I recommend that if you have a TV laying around that you barely even use and it has a 1080p display with HDMI out and you can plug it right into your computer and start using it? Yes, I really do recommend that you do that. If you have the money for a proper display, don't hesitate to pick it up. As much as I rave about this Hisense display behind me, I looked into getting multiples of the AOC monitors so I have three matching displays, but the price tag really hasn't been appealing for me so I've stuck with this Hisense display. However, until that day comes, I'm going to be using the Hisense monitor for all my video editing, gaming needs, and everything that I do to produce great content for you all. So thank you guys again for watching this video. If you haven't already, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all our social media links. And if you buy stuff on G2A, click our referral link where you can use to purchase games and help give us a kickback for supporting the channel. So if you have any reason to help support us, which I'd love any contribution you guys can make to us, please buy something on G2A using a referral link in the description below. Add it to your bookmarks and whatnot. Follow us on Twitter. I want to reach 100 Twitter followers by the end of the month. So if we reach that goal, I'll do a giveaway. So be sure to follow our Twitter account for updates and all sorts. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put a lot of thought and effort into this one. And this is a good video idea. So I hope you guys enjoy it and have a wonderful day.